After my first breakup, I found my, my purpose in life. Before that, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Hi, this is Shoma Sosin, the host of the Teenage Impact Podcast, where we share stories, tips, and strategies on how you can overcome your physical and mental health struggles as a teenage kid. I've interviewed 26 people from all around the world who are making some type of impact on our community, and I interview them on your struggles, how they've overcame it, and tips on how you can overcome yours too. Before I continue with the podcast episode, I want you to go ahead, if you're on Apple Podcasts, to rate and review the podcast. I'm trying to inspire as many teens as possible. In order for me to do that, you have to rate and review, give a high rating and review if you like this podcast, so it could be ranked higher and I can impact more teens. If you have a friend who's in some type of funk and they can't seem to get out of it, please share the Teenage Impact Podcast. I, so far, I've had thousands of thousands of downloads from teens all around the world, and they listen to this because they're going through something in their life, and they want solutions. They want other people they can relate to, and the Teenage Impact Podcast is the best podcast out there to help them do so. This podcast episode is about... Relate, getting over your breakup. Right now, if you're going through some type of breakup, maybe it's your first love, maybe it's your second love, maybe it's your fourth or fifth girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever it may be, you're heartbroken. You feel like this is the person that's going to be your high school sweetheart or going into college that you guys were going to make it work and then move on, graduate together, get professions, grow a family. And all of a sudden, things just start to fall apart. Now, you don't know what to do. You feel like your heart is pumping at a thousand miles per hour. You feel like nothing excites you anymore. You go into class, you can't concentrate. You have a part-time job, you can't concentrate. You have some sports or extracurricular activity, you cannot concentrate. You're at your family dinner table, you cannot concentrate. The only thing that's on your mind is your breakup. And you can't seem on, you feel like it's going to be the end of the world and you can't seem to get out of this funk. Let me tell you, everyone has been there. I can just tell you about, you know, my first love was back when I was 19 years old. I didn't have a girlfriend in co uh, high school, but in college I started dating. And this girl, I thought I was going to marry this girl. And we started having problems, not only in the relationship, but starting with religion as well. When we broke up, I felt like there was a thousand pounds on me. I, f I didn't feel like doing anything else. When it came to school, I didn't feel like studying. When it came to applying for jobs, I didn't feel like doing that. When it came to hanging out with my friends, I just wanted to stay in bed. I started doing all these things to try to get this girl out of my mind. A year went by. I felt, you know, not only was I going through the breakup, it was also my senior year in college and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was, my grades weren't all that great. I wasn't getting any internship opportunities. So I felt trapped. I didn't know what to do. But when you feel like you're in the lowest point of your life, there's only one way up, is to get up, to start walking, and start figuring stuff out. And that's what you have to do when you're going through a bad breakup. And during that period of time, that breakup was the best thing that can ever happen to me. It was a time where I reinvented myself. I went from a person who was always feeling negative to now always feeling positive. I went from a person who was always talking bad about people and trying to get back at people to now I hate talking bad about people. I always want to share love. And this is where I found my passion to inspire people. And if it wasn't for that breakup, who knows if I would have found my love to inspire people and public speaking. I went through that breakup. And then I had a couple other breakups where I did long-term relationships. And then 
I, after all those breakups, the breakup wasn't as bad, but it was still, I felt like I didn't know what else to do. But after each and every breakup, I found a way to reinvent myself and get better. Now, you've heard this advice probably a million times that, hey, you're going to get over this. This is good for you. And in your mind, all that you're thinking is, I cannot get over this. It feels like yeah, I can't be thinking about this girl or this boy years and years from now. But let me tell you, this is a time for you to reinvent yourself, to level up your mentality, your body, your the way you act, the way you interact with people. This is a way to reinvent yourself. And I'm gonna show you three reasons why a bad breakup or a good breakup, but a heartbreak is actually good for you. Reason number one, you start doing things for yourself. Maybe when you're in a relationship, you couldn't work out as much. Maybe you're too busy hanging out with your boyfriend and girlfriend. You stop working out. You stop eating healthier. You stop doing activities you really enjoyed. Maybe you like music. You stop doing that. You stop hanging out with your friends. You didn't hang out with your family members as much. It was all about your boyfriend and girlfriend. Which is why you feel that way. You spent so much time, you invested so much time on that person, you forget who you really are. And who you really are is the activities you enjoy. So if you stop working out, if you stop eating healthier, this is the time for you to start doing that, to start shaping up your body, to start looking better, to start feeling better, to maybe start meditating, maybe pick up a sport, pick up a hobby. You need to start doing things for yourself that's going to make you feel happy. Second reason why a breakup is good for you. You start loving yourself more. Self-love is difficult for many people. When you tell yourself that you don't know what you would do without so-and-so, that you feel like your whole life was revolved around them, and you don't know if you can ever feel alone, feel happy feeling alone. And what, what, when you say that you feel like it's the end of the world if that person's not around, what you're really saying is that you can't be alone. You can't feel happy alone. You're afraid of what feeling alone might feel like. The depression, the sadness. Maybe you might feel anxiety. Maybe you will be bored. Maybe you didn't have any activities alone. And now that you're alone, you don't know what else to do. You feel bored. Now, this is the time to actually start loving yourself. And when you find start doing these activities that you love, you start really enjoying the moments alone. Not that you won't enjoy the moments with the other people. When you start enjoying the moments for yourself, and then when you find a boyfriend or girlfriend again, now you can be happy with yourself and share that happiness with the other person. And the third reason why I think a breakup is really good for you is my favorite reason. You're able to possibly find your purpose in life. After my first breakup, I found my, my purpose in life. Before that, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I started applying for these jobs, going through school and classes, not feeling happy, not feeling fulfilled. But as soon as a year, year and a half went by, slowly, I started figuring out what I wanted to do. I started doing door-to-door -door sales. I started reading nonfiction books. I started working for a startup. I started getting up in public, uh, getting good at public speaking. I started a YouTube channel. I started youth leadership programs to help out kids. I quit my full-time job and moved to Philadelphia. This is what breakups can do to you. You start to figure out who you are and what you really want to do. Is it going to be easy? Absolutely not. I had a lot of lonely nights where I felt like it was, 
I wasn't going to make it past the next day. I didn't want to get out of bed many nights. I just wanted to sleep for hours, hours, and hours and didn't want to do anything. But eventually you stop feeling sorry for yourself and start actually doing something with your life. And you might be asking yourself, well, I can't find my purpose. I'm in high school. Yes, you can. I interviewed uh, several people from high school who are traveling the world speaking, who have made six figures in their business as a 15 and 16 year old, who are interviewing multimillionaires. If you're not into business, maybe you want to pursue music. Maybe you want to be a comedian. You start doing something, but you figure it out when you're at your low point. The three reasons why I think a breakup is good for you is number one, you start finding the activities to do by yourself. Number two, you start loving yourself. And number three, you find your purpose. Now, can you do this? Do these three things with a boyfriend or girlfriend? Absolutely, you do. And that's actually a healthy relationship. But when you get so emotionally attached to someone that you've given them everything and you forgot who you are as a person and when you go through that breakup now it's for you to actually evaluate and take a step back and evaluate who you really are as a person and how to move forward from here so when you run into your next boyfriend and girlfriend you're a better version of yourself and you're not going to settle for anything less I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Teenage Impact Podcast. If, like I said, if you do like it, go ahead and rate and review. If you're on Apple Podcasts, share with a friend. And I also compiled seven quick and easy ways to feel better about yourself. These are tips based off of my own experiences in life and based off of the 26 interviews that I have done. Go ahead. The link is in the description. And until next time, peace.